Hi, everyone. Um, this is Guided Meditations 101. Thank you for joining me on this Thursday. Um, today we are meditating and celebrating the full moon in Scorpio. So this just passed at 3.45 Pacific time early this morning. But of course, with any full moon cycle, um, we tend to feel its effects for days prior and days following up to a week following this um, this phase. So if you are feeling a little like run down, if you're feeling a little dehydrated, if you're feeling like you just want to flee and escape the moment, um, I'm totally with you. I was totally feeling that way when I woke up this morning and it took me a lot just to get grounded, had a hot shower. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Find a comfortable seat wherever that may be in your home. If you'd like to lay down, if you're feeling a little flighty, definitely I recommend that. Um, we're going to place both feet on the floor if you are laying down, so having the feet down. And we're going to rest our hands, one hand over our hearts and one hand over our belly. And just begin to close the eyes here. Tap into the breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And hold it at the top and sigh it out through the mouth. Releasing what isn't serving you here. Deep breath in through your nose. Hold at the top and sigh. Another deep breath in. Hold at the top and release. Just noticing the warmth of your palms as it hits the surface of your body. This warming and soothing sensation that you are still here. You are still present. Really releasing into this quiet effortlessness. Knowing that you are enough in this present moment, in this present shape. There is nowhere for you to go. There is no other place to be. Tap into scanning the body physically, checking in, releasing and softening into the temples, into the brow lines. Draw your attention here to your third eye chakra, the area between your brows, just giving a gentle flicker, a glowing sensation, tapping into your inner wisdom your inner kindness to guide you forward. Soften it deep within the eye sockets. As the eyes close, peering back behind the brain here. Not noticing what is going on around you, but peering within what is just beginning to settle. The roof of your mouth hollows out. The tongue drops. Allowing your lips to soften. Providing that fresh air from the nostrils down into the lungs. This open channel. Soften into the back of the shoulders and the neck. Collarbones begin to separate away from the sternum. Feeling the heart within your rib cage. Just consistently beating here. Like a metronome. Coming to that consistent pulse. Arms grow heavier, your fingertips stay light. There's little to no gripping around 
your upper arm bones or your wrists. Begin to soften into the diaphragm, into the belly, really releasing the lower belly into your palm. Feeling that gentle inflation of how much more air that you can allow into your body. Softening into your lower back. See if you can breathe more space to blow up a giant balloon within your body. Softening down into your sitting bones, into your glutes. Releasing resistance. Noticing if you're holding tension in your glutes. Holding tension in your pelvic floor muscles. Can you allow them to soften and release into the floor? The soles of your feet stay planted and grounded, receiving the energy from the earth, from the ground up. Noticing that the subtle energetic shifts of just your breath as it enters into your lungs and as it exits, the only slight movements that are appearing within your physical body. Let's draw our attention down now to the pelvis or sacrum, the low back area. Let's slide both palms just down to the low belly for a second here. So cultivating a little bit more space base of the pelvis. Imagining an expansive bowl of water sitting here in your pelvic floor. Fresh glimmering water from a pond. So the energetic center, the sacral chakra that resides here is our creative force. It allows us to differentiate between all that is light within us, our lighter emotions like happiness, excitement, curiosity, joy. And it also balances out our shadow sides, darker emotions like anger, like sadness, like fear. We allow this fluid movement of water as it runs around the rim of this bowl to find that delicate balance between seeking all of these positive light emotions while also acknowledging these darker emotions as they come up. You may come up with the breath. You come up from past memory. You might come up from simple triggers. Just noticing what is happening here as you breathe. Now imagining deep within that bowl of water, a seedling arises here. It might be pink or yellow, or still green, unfurling through its leaves. And with every dimension that you look at it, 
The seedling just begins to gently blossom, opening up one petal, and then another, and then another, expanding their circumference of this bowl, this water that holds it afloat. These gentle and delicate petals are just revealing past memories, past things that we are still clinging on to. Layer upon layer, just gently unfurling here. You can think of every inhale, another petal pops up. And as you exhale, it gently opens and flutters down into the water. Gentle inhales, and slow exhales here. Finding yourself with so many, so many multi-dimensional petals now, filling up your bowl until the water spills over. There's no way to catch all of this water, catch all of these falling petals. They simply turn over and reveal themselves onto the floor. All of these past memories, all of these things that we were clinging onto, simply seeping down into the floorboards, being cleansed away by that water, rushing deep into the ground, further and further away from our grasp. Your sitting bones really grow heavy into the floor now. Now planting our palms gently into our lap or onto our thighs. There's little to no tension being held in the pelvic area. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold it for one second here. Take an additional sip of air in. Hold. Take another additional sip in. Hold and sigh it all up through the mouth. Take a deep breath in. Hold. Additional breath in. Hold. Another deep breath in. Hold and sigh it out to cleanse. Deep breath in. Hold, take an additional deep breath in. Hold, last sip of air in. Hold, side all out. Draw your left palm gently over your heart, your right palm gently on top. Bring your chin in towards you, gentle bowing down. Just Sign of great reverence here. Still with the eyes closed, just gazing beyond all of these petals that have bloomed, surfaced, that have revealed themselves to you. Now are shape shifting and simply floating away. Us bearing as the witness thanking each memory as it served us. As we release from this clinging, release from our holding patterns, sending gratitude to each one for assisting us in our growth, in our times of transformation here. 
being able to see deep down underneath where our true authentic selves lie. Bring your palms together, heart center. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. Peer beyond the darkness here, seeking the light. Bowing down. Gently blink your eyes. Back open and softly gaze upon a point along the floor. And come back to this space. Take a few breaths, grab some water, wiggle things out, especially the head, neck, shoulders. I feel like there's been a lot of tension that we've been holding up, especially caved up in our chest lately. I know a lot of us have been feeling the cabin fever, especially this week, especially with a lot of other businesses that have been opening. So really tapping into, you know, what was your past life prior to quarantine and self-isolation? Where is it that you see yourself now after being sheltered away for many weeks, a few months now, creating this stability, creating this grounding space, creating this safety? What have you reflected on that did not quite serve you, that made you feel as if you were running on fumes constantly? And are there certain reminders or triggers that are coming up for you, especially this week? So leading into this full moon, I find it's really interesting. Um, so the sign of Scorpio, the scorpion, it's a water sign and it moves within our deeper, darker, more intense emotions. So definitely things that have been repressed for a long time, whether prior to quarantine or in the past few weeks. If we have certain holding patterns or habits, like can we bring these to light, right? Like can we almost look on these things as yes they helped us grow for a period of time but are they currently serving us right now or are we feeling as if they are barriers for our new growth now that we're starting to unshed so with scorpio it has a very thick skin and exterior and sometimes it doesn't like getting vulnerable it doesn't like getting hurt but how can we become a little bit more gentle with ourselves and reveal, especially in the safety of our homes, reveal these layers, reveal these things that feel a little bit uncomfortable, feel a little bit like, oh, this is not really me. Are we able to let these layers go? I really recommend journaling if there are certain things that are coming up for you, especially today. You can reflect on it for the days to come as well. What are the layers that you need to shed? Like, what are those old habits? What are those things that constantly come up for you and you're just afraid to stand your ground and just say like, hey, this isn't okay or this isn't me anymore. Like, I need to let this go. It's funny, I drew a card today from my tarot deck. Um, kind of in reflection of what I'm going through, and it was the five of wands, or five of rods, as you can see here. So the significance is really um, interesting because it talks about being in competition with yourself and fighting the flow of, you know, it could be your emotions, it could be your best judgment of how you view yourself, um, it could be based on are you spending too much time appeasing to people that don't matter to you, right? Um, it asks you to be really calm, patient. But yeah, know that the fight is never over, this, this internal competition with yourself. And really knowing deep down, like, what is best for you, especially during this time, right? Like, 
if it's rest that you need, if it's exercise that you need, if it's socialization, if it's being outside, like what are the things that without the barriers that we've created, what are the things that are best suited for you so you can be at a higher vibration and feel as if you can expand and grow and not feel small or worthless or living in someone's shadow. So again, like I mentioned, Scorpio um, is kind of like the representation of revealing what's on our shadow side. And the shadow side can reveal a lot of negative emotions, such as being hurt and anger, depression, fear, grief, sorrow. But there's a lot to grow from when you're able to see you know certain emotions that weren't serving you or they came up for a reason they came up because of a trigger they came up because it was a standstill it's a conflict it's a competition again right like your body is telling you that it's building up this resistance because it does not belong you should, you should not allow it to you know create all these heavy thoughts and tension in your body so the shadow work, the shadow side, reveals to us how it is that we can cultivate a little bit more light, more creativity, more joy, more calm, more peace. If we didn't have this shadow side and the light prevailed all the time, I think we would take advantage of this fact and never appreciate feeling light, feeling joyous, feeling um, freedom, right? Like we would kind of almost imagine that if we were feeling light all the time and that, that was the new norm, we would never enjoy it. We would never be grateful for those instances. So yeah, I invite you this full moon to really tap into what it is that you've been feeling, especially since we're kind of segueing into another month maybe another month of quarantine, what has best been serving you and what has not? What layers are you ready to unveil about yourself? Reveal, I mean. Mm -hmm. And if you feel that you're building up these coping mechanisms, these defenses, are you allowed, are you allowing yourself just to sit in that and just to feel it, feel it all? Yeah. I hope this helps and inspires some of you to continue with your meditations. I did want to announce that as of next week, I will be limiting the amount of classes that I'll be providing. Um, so I'll be down to one a week. So that'll be Monday, restorative yoga at 8 p.m. Eastern time. That will be through a Zoom uh, link. So if you are interested, please send me a DM or email me and I can get you hooked up. Um, and then as of next Friday, uh, I will still be back for cultivating a positive mindset in uncertain times. So I feel like that outlet is still very helpful um, and it resonates with a lot of people. And yeah, there's just so many great things that we can chat about and that will always start with a meditation and kind of be an open forum discussion as well um, for things that are coming up for people. Anyways, um, whatever it is that you get up to today, drink lots of water. With the unshedding of Scorpio, um, you can exfoliate, you can dry brush, you can cleanse. There are just so many things just being in water, drinking a lot of water, staying hydrated. It's just a lot of flushing and cleansing and detoxification. I highly, highly recommend it. Even a little bit of hot water and lemon does the trick. Um, if there's any questions with your meditation practice or if there's anything that you want to discuss, feel free, leave me a comment. Um, otherwise, I will connect with you guys probably in a limited sphere, but I'll be around. Um, and there are some super exciting art projects and other things to come. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing and we'll connect soon in the physical realm. Ciao.